So this is our uh, quiz two in the polynomial unit. So as you prepare for the unit test, you've got three different reviews in the book plus two quizzes that you've already taken. So this was quiz two that we took right before uh, spring break. So let's take a look at what we have. Consider the polynomial, list all the possible rational roots. So you know according to the rational roots theorem, it's plus or minus the factors of the constant divided by the factors of the leading coefficient. So those would be factors of 13. So these are going to be plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24, divided by factors of 13, 1 and 13. So this list is just plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, and then every number in that list divided by 13. 1 thirteenth, 2 thirteenths, 3 thirteenths, 4 thirteenths, 6 thirteenths, 8, 12, and 24. So those are all the possible rational roots for this polynomial. Second question, they give you a polynomial and ask several questions. First of all, is x minus 1 a factor? Well, that will be the case if the coefficients add to 0. So let's look at the coefficients of this polynomial. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, plus 2 is 1, plus 6 is 7, minus 13 is negative 6, minus 4 is negative 10, plus 10 is 0. So yes, x minus 1 is a factor because the coefficients add to 0. Given that x minus square root of 2 is a factor, which, what must also be a factor? This polynomial has real coefficients, so x plus square root of 2 has to be a factor. If 1 plus 2i is a root, then 1 minus 2i also has to be a root. How many roots does this polynomial have? It's a six degree polynomial, so it will have six roots. Circle all that are not possible factors. Okay, the list of possible factors here are gonna be plus or minus the factors of 10 divided by the factors of one. So one, two, five, and 10, okay? So the things that are not one, two, five, and 10 would be right here. Those are not possible factors of this uh, polynomial. Write the equation of the polynomial of least degree with all real coefficients having the roots 1 and 1 plus the square root of 5. So this polynomial is f of x equal x minus 1. And then it's going to have to have roots of 1 plus square root of 5 and 1 minus square root of 5. So my roots, my factors are going to be x minus 1 minus root 5, x minus 1 plus root 5. So that's the polynomial, and now I just need to multiply everything together. So if I take these last two terms, so x minus 1 minus root 5, x minus 1 plus root 5. And I multiply that together. I get x squared minus x minus x root 5 and then minus x plus 1 minus root 5 and then See, this is a positive right here. So, and then let's see, minus x root 5, and then plus root 5, and then root 5 times root 5, that's 5. So, with the negatives, I get a 5 there. So, what cancels? I see this term cancels with this term, and this with this. All of your square roots should go away. So, this becomes x squared 
minus 2x plus 6. So f of x equal x minus 1, x squared, minus 2x plus 6. And I'm sorry, I have made a mistake here. Um, this last term where you have the minus square root of 5 times the square root of 5, that's a negative 5. So this becomes... Um, x squared minus 2x minus 4. Sorry about that. So now I just need to multiply these two terms together. So in order to do that, I'm going to have an x minus 1, x squared minus 2x minus 4. This is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus x squared plus 2x plus 4. So the final answer is f of x equal x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. So again, the key here was the irrational root 1 minus root 5, so we also needed to have the root 1 plus root 5 to make this a polynomial with real coefficients. Okay, now we have a polynomial. We're going to list the possible rational roots and then find all the roots and write it in fully factored form. So this is going to be plus or minus the factors of 20 divided by the factors of 1. So this list is plus or minus 1, 2, 5, 10, 20. So those are all the possible uh, rational roots. So let's just see if I add up the coefficients I get, what, uh, 38 minus 6 is 32. It's not going to add to 0. So I know that 1 is not going to be a factor. Uh, 1 is not going to be a root. So I'm going to start with negative 1. So first thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try negative 1. So I'm going to do a synthetic division with negative 1. So I have my x to the fourth, my x cubed, x squared, x, and constant. So bring the 1 down. That's negative 1, negative 4. Multiply here, negative 2. Multiply to get 2, that's a 20. Negative 20 and a 0. So that means that x equal a negative 1 is a solution. x plus 1 is a factor. So now I just need to find a, another factor. So let's try uh, negative 1 again. So negative 1, and I'm going to use these numbers right here. So 1 minus 4 minus 2 and 20. So bring the 1 down, multiply here. 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 3, that does not work. Okay. So I have 1 and negative 1 are ruled out. Let's move on to 2 and negative 2. So let's try 2. So 1 negative 4, negative 2, and 20. This is negative 2. That does not work. Let's move on to negative 2. 1, negative 4, negative 2, and 20. So that means that x equal Negative 2 is a solution. x plus 2 is a factor. So I started with a fourth degree. I found two roots. So that means I've got it now. Now I have it down to a quadratic. So this function f of x 
is equal to, what are my two factors? x plus 1, x plus 2. And then if I read from this line right here, that is x squared minus 6x plus 10. Are there numbers that multiply to 10 and give me negative 6? Uh, there are not. So I'm going to need to use quadratic formula here on this one. So I'm running out of space, but I think we can do it over here in the corner. So I need to solve x squared minus 6x plus 10 equals 0. Okay. So b squared minus 4ac, that is equal to 36 minus 4 times 1 times 10. So that's 36 minus 40, which is negative 4. So using the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is 6 plus or minus 2i over 2, which is 3 plus or minus i. So my roots are x equal negative 1, x equal negative 2, and x equal 3 plus or minus i. Fully factored form x plus 1, x plus 2, x minus 3 plus i, and x minus 3 minus i. So that is in fully factored form. Problem 5, give a polynomial of least degree with real coefficients having the factors x plus 3i, x plus 1, and x minus 1. So we know that f of x will equal x plus 1, x minus 1, x plus 3i, and x minus 3i. So it's just a matter of now putting these things together. Um, so the first two, the last two terms here, so x plus 3i times x minus 3i. So in both of these cases, I can FOIL this. So f of x, when I look at the first two terms, that's just x squared minus 1. Okay. And when I look at the next two terms, that's x squared uh, plus 3ix minus 3ix and then minus 3i squared. So f of x equal x squared minus 1. I squared is negative 1, so what you have in this last term here, you've got 9i squared, so that's going to be x squared plus 9. And now it's just a matter of multiplying these together. So f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus x squared plus 9x squared minus 9 f of x equal x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 9. On to the next page, problem 6. This is one of those find all the roots. Um, so let's start out. What are all the possible rational roots? It's going to be plus or minus the factors of 2 divided by the factors of 1. So this list is just plus or minus 1, 2. Okay. So that is all we have. Do the coefficients add to 0? 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 minus 14 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So I should know that x equal 1 is a solution. x minus 1 is a factor. Okay. So let's just figure out what that means. Do synthetic division. You start out with a x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, an x term and a constant. 
bring the 6 down, 11, <clears throat> okay, if I look at the numbers that I have here, that's seven. if I add them together, that's 17 minus 5 does not add to 0, so 1 will not work uh, when I try it again. So now let's move on to something else. Let's try negative 1. So 6, 11, minus 3, minus 2. That does not work. <clears throat> and let's see, did I make a mistake there? Let me double check. So. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but let's, let me just redo that real quick. That's negative 6. That becomes 5. Negative 5, negative 8. Multiply this, I get 8 minus 2, which is 6. So that does not work. So I've gone through 1 and negative 1. I just need to go through 2 and negative 2. So let's try x equal 2. So 6, 11, minus 3, minus 2. 2 times 6 is 12. That adds to be 23. 2 times 23 is 46. 43. 2 times this is 86. It is not working. Let's move on to negative 2. This is what? Negative 12. Multiply here, I get 2. Multiply here, I get 2. And I get a 0. So that means that x plus 2 is a factor. So I started with a fourth degree. I have two factors now. Okay. So I can write f of x equal x minus 1 x plus 2, and then if I read what I have here, that is what 6x squared minus x minus 1. So now it just becomes, can I factor this last term that you see right here? So if that factors, I need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. That's going to be a negative 3 and a positive 2. So that is 6x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 1. Factor by grouping. 3x, 2x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1. So this is 3x plus 1, 2x minus 1. So that's my final factorization, f of x equal x minus 1, x plus 2, 3x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And then my roots or solutions are just x equal 1, negative 2, and then negative 1 third and 1 half. And we're all done with that. Let k be a real number. Given that x minus k is a factor of this polynomial, find the value of k. Big hint about synthetic division. So if x minus k is a factor, that means when I do synthetic division with a k, I better get a zero remainder. So 2x cubed, um, 0x squared. Uh, the coefficient of x is a 1, and the constant is minus k plus 2. So if I bring the 2 down, multiply, and you get 2k. Add those together, and you get 2k. k times 2k is 2k squared. Add those things together, and you get 2k squared plus 1. 
Now multiply k by that and you get 2k cubed plus k. You add these things together and you get what? 2k cubed minus k and k cancel, so plus 2. So that is my remainder, 2k cubed plus 2. But I know that this remainder must equal 0. That means that 2 times k cubed plus 1 has to equal 0. That is the sum of cubes. So I know that 2, k plus 1, k squared minus k plus 1 equals 0. So this is going to have complex solutions. My, this will be my only solution. So x equal negative 1. That is the only real solution uh, for this polynomial. And then the second half of the bonus, if k were a complex number, what would be the values of kb? So that means that k squared minus k plus 1 equals 0. We get to use the quadratic formula. So k is equal to um, 1 plus or minus the square root of, so b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2. So that is 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 over 2. So that's 1 half plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2 i. So those would be the complex solutions for i. So that's it. That is our quiz 2. All of the problems worked out.